It's really nice being here. And I just I love being able to get together and like be creative in the park. Spider dance. medicine. It's creating a web. And that's exactly what we do in our story telling. We awaken people. Remember the music. Remember the people that you met. Uh, we open the circle by passing this stone around. Once a long time ago, there was a young man who lived in a forest, I mean on a farm near a great forest. And the forest was full of lions. Big lions, thin lions, hungry lions. And each day the young man wondered, what can I do to protect my farm against lions? Nobody ever comes to visit. They're afraid of the lions. He wasn't, but they were. One day, out of the forest, there came a little old lady. There's always a little old lady <laughs> coming out of the forest. <laughs> and the old woman of the woods. And she was walking along, she says, and he said, Hey, Granny, you look hungry. Why don't you come? It's time for lunch. And so he took the little old lady and they went and they had lunch. And she, when she was finished, she said, you know, I'd like to say thank you for the food and the hospitality. Now, I'm a little bit magic. What a surprise. And I would like to give you a gift. What would you like? The young man thought. Uh, I'd like to protect my farm against lions, for my friends are afraid to visit. Oh, she said, that's the easiest thing in the world. I'm going to teach you some magic words. And when you say these magic words, when the sun's going down, a magic drum will appear. And when that drum appears, you take that drum and you start playing it. And while you are playing it, the music will go into the forest. And the lions will hear that music. One lion will come and dance to that music, and they'll come into your farm. But don't be afraid, for as long as you're playing the drum, the lion will dance. Now, while the lion is dancing, if you cut 12 pieces of the lion's mane, then your farm will be protected against lions. No lion will ever bother you again and your friends will come and visit. Good, said the young man. And the old woman taught him the words. And all that day he finished, as he did his work, he wondered, I can't wait until the sun begins to set. <laughs> well, oh yes, and the old lady left. And when the sun set, and the sky was gold, that beautiful sunset began. And then he said the magic words. And all the colors of that sunset coalesced together to form a drum. And there was a drum in the middle of his kitchen, glowing gold. Now he'd never played a drum before, but he reached forward and he began, and he touched it, and he picked it up, and he knew how to play. And a soft, gentle rhythm came from that drum. The soft, gentle rhythm. Power, the 
as long as you play that drum. Uh-oh. <laughs> what would happen if he stopped playing? The lion started chasing him around the table. And he went around the table one time, three times. And he grabbed hold of that drum and he started playing again, that slow, gentle rhythm. Uh-oh. <laughs> lion kept on dancing. The young man thought, he thought of the words that the woman had given to him just before she had left. Now remember, Sonny, you must cut three, 12 pieces of lion's mane before midnight. Because at midnight, the drum disappears. And there he was drumming away and the lion was dancing away and he thought, if this drum disappears before I cut 12 pieces of the lion's mane, um, toast. And he watched that clock going tick, tick, tick towards 10 o'clock. And at 10 o'clock there was bomb. And at the door, keep on playing, and at the door there was a knock, knock, knock. And he said, I heard that drumming, John. Are you having a party? Yes, said John. Come on in. And the neighbor opened up the door and saw the lion dancing in the kitchen. He screamed, there's a lion in your kitchen. And he slammed the door shut and he ran away. So what could John do? But he kept on playing. The lion kept on dancing. And the clock kept on ticking. Tick, tick, tick towards 11 o'clock. The clock went bong. said, hey John, I hear that drumming, that sweet drumming. Are you having a party? Yes, said John, come on in. And suddenly the woman opened up the door and she saw the lion and she screamed, oh my God, there's a lion in your kitchen. And she slammed the door shut and ran away.